Are you ready for mayhem? I can't hear you! I said, are you ready for mayhem? I'm Total Disposal, and welcome to the Massive Loop Mayhem, a demolition derby where the last car racing wins. Stay on track and keep racing. Crash off the track and you get a one-way ticket to my junkyard. Buckle your seatbelts, cause it's time for a demolition derby! Who will be brave enough to enter the massive loop? Let's meet our first competitors. Challenge accepted! I'm gonna eat this loop for breakfast. T-Rex Troyer is hungry to race. And they're off! Now launch the competition to the moon! Cosmic Group is launching into the mayhem! You want a champ? I'm the prototype. Lister Prototype is here to win! This hot rod is clipping ahead of the competition. Clip rod! I'm gonna kick the competition right off the track. Slide kick isn't slowing down for anyone. Wow! What a crash! Whoa, yeah, that was awesome! Roll the replay! Those cars went flying! Clip rod crashed out! It's demo time for Cosmic Coop and Linster Prototype. Off to the junkyard! Night Dragon! Watch out! I'm breathing fire! Pixel Shaker! It's time to shake things up! Oh! Epic crash! Let's get a replay on that! What a move! Monty Racer clips the back of Carbonator, and here comes Pixel Shaker to finish them off. It's game over for Pixel Shaker. Arachnorod! If you're not afraid of spiders yet, you will be. Three, two, one, go! Those cars barely missed each other. Let's get a replay on that. Oh, that was so close. HW Warp Spear. I just gotta go fast. Whoa! Wow! This is mayhem! HW Warp Speeder crashed out! Donut Drifter lands back on the track and gets to keep racing! Draftnator! I'm just here to crash! We're halfway through our challengers! GT Hunter! I'm hunting for gold! Oh! They hit each other out of the loop! I want to see that again! Night Dragon races off the track! Hot Tub doesn't have enough speed to make it up the loop! GT Hunter closely follows! And T-Rex Destroyer crashes into the mayhem! Extreme Demolition! And the rest go to the junkyard! Retroactive! I've got some advanced machinery under this hood. Let's go! Small block! I'm gonna knock the blocks off all of yous. Oh, that car got jumped! GT Hunter speeding up the loop. Retroactive races across from the side, and Small Block crashes into them all. But look at Small Block! Crashing into Retroactive for a second time! This is mayhem! They're still racing! Diora 3! Slow and steady wins the race. I don't think that's how this works, but good luck! Only a few more challengers to go! Speed Driver! I'll drive everyone into the ground! Go, go, go! Cloak and Dagger! Now you see me, now you don't. It's demo time! See you later, Cloak and Dagger! We're down to our final two cars, Small Block and Diora 3. The suspense is killing me! Ah, I can't look! Slow that down. What happened there? Small block loses control.
and the winner of the Massive Loop Mayhem Demolition Derby is... Diora 3! Thanks for watching the Massive Loop Mayhem Demolition Derby. Keep on racing and keep on causing mayhem. There's nothing like going fast. But right now, looks like I could use a way to stop. Turning on Hot Wheels Labs, friction! You can't stop the Swamp of Doom. Because Hot Wheels don't stop! Science to the rescue. Oh yeah, we did it. How did sand save him? Well, when the tires dragged against the sand, it created friction. And it sent the energy of the car into the sand. What's friction? Let me show you. Friction happens when different surfaces rub against each other, sharing the energy of one object with another. Different materials have different levels of friction. Different levels? Yeah. Let's build some track. Yeah! yeah. Each one of these tracks has a different surface at the bottom. So first, let's check out the ice. Cool. The smooth track has less friction and more speed. The rough track has more friction, so less speed. Less speed? Why would anyone want more friction? Good question. Sometimes you want to put on the brakes. <laughs> Brakes on a real car work by applying friction to the wheels to get it to stop. All right, we'll try it your way. Yeah! Friction and braking are great for real cars, but sometimes you gotta do things the Hot Wheels way. You guys are probably thinking, that guy's on a track with no car. He's going nowhere, but guess what? When that gate releases, I'm out of here. Buckle up for today's Hot Wheels Labs. So close. Trying to make the jump, huh? Yeah. You need more potential energy. My mom says I have potential. My mom says I have a lot of energy. I'm talking about something different. Come on up here, let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so tell me, does this car have energy? Yes. It does, kinetic energy, moving energy. What about this car? Does this have energy? No. It doesn't look like it does, because it's invisible. That's potential energy. It's all about where something is or how it is. And this car had potential energy because of its distance from the ground. I know exactly the experiment to show you. You wanna go check it out? Yeah. Yeah! Let's go get it! All right, guys, the reason we have six tracks is because when you increase the height, you're also increasing the potential energy. I call it the splat test. Who wants to get started? Yeah! All right, let's go! at six feet. What do you think would happen at 10 feet? Oh, I just go right through it. I want to see it at 30 feet. Yeah! And let's do it. Whoa! There's lots of potential here. That's right. All this height gives us gravitational potential energy because the car has the potential to be pulled down the ramp by gravity. Here we go. 
Oh, but there are other types of potential energy too. Like elastic, on, mechanical, on, and a wind-up car. Nuclear. <laughs> Alright, let's do this! I know one even bigger for maximum potential energy. Hot. Perfect for melting this solid block of ice with my favorite Hot Wheels car frozen inside. Huh? Don't ask. The sun. We'll add energy to this to turn this ice into water and then into steam. Solid, liquid, gas. Today on Hot Wheels Labs, the three states of matter. This may take a little longer than I thought. That's a lot of solid to transform into a liquid. How does it do it? Let's head into the lab and find out. You guys start stacking those Hot Wheels cars for me. Yes, sir. Yeah. Pack them tight. Stack them on top of each other. Nice. Almost everything in the world exists in one of three forms. Solid, liquid, and, and gas. <laughs> or air. But they can change into another form. Like ice melting into water. Yes. The molecules, the tiny particles that make up matter, can be organized in a different way. Let's start with a solid, a stack of cars. Now when the molecules, or in this case the cars, are packed in tight, it's heavy, organized. You can pack a lot into a small space, but not much room to move around. A solid. But if you add energy, go ahead and put your cars in here. Then the molecules will need to move around. Let's add some energy. When the molecules move more, they lose their organization and shape. That's why a liquid will take the shape of whatever container it's in. And if you add even more energy, the molecules move farther apart and become a gas. Because there's so much space between molecules, a gas fits into any container you put it in. Hot wheels, cool car. Today, a Hot Wheels Labs mini episode. States of matter, Liquid to solid. Adding or subtracting energy is only one way of changing the state of matter. Pressure and chemistry can also do it. I can show you with the Hot Wheels Fusion Factory. It changes a liquid into a solid using a chemical reaction. This contains two chemicals. When I insert it and the car mold into the Fusion Factory, I can pump it into the car mold like this. When I do that, the two chemicals mix, the molecules latching onto each other in a chemical bond that turns liquid into solid. Now, we wait for the chemicals to combine. Time's up. Now, we see what we've got. Take it out of Fusion Factory. And we have a solid. Pretty cool. What's up, track builders? My name is Legend. Today, we're making a Hot Wheels breakfast. I'm going to show you how I pack the track. Breakfast is my favorite meal. So I made a track that will help me make my breakfast. Want to see how I built it? Ready, set, build! I want to build a track from here to there. I'm going to need a strong launcher to start. Here we go. Let's start with some loops. Here's what I used to build this track. Cool! Now I need my track to go from the kitchen island to the table. This stool is the perfect height to support my track. It looks like I'm going to need to lift the track a little more. Oh, these containers should do it. Perfect. I want my track to stay at a higher level so that the milk can pour down into my cereal bowl. So if everything works as planned, this car should crash through the yellow gate and pour milk all over my cereal. Okay, let's 
Test it out. Three, two, one, go! Oh, almost! I think I need a stronger crash. This should do the trick. This booster will make that crash a lot stronger. Let's go! Also, I'm gonna add new after I finish the rest of this track. Next up, it's donut time. Oh yeah! Track two is gonna be the donut lane, but this is gonna be tricky. This lane needs to go towards the table. This curve kicker should turn the cars where they need to go. This little cutting board will lift the curve kicker for extra support. The track fits perfectly inside this paper towel roll too. There are so many kitchen things that can hold up my track. Let's use another stove to create a bridge just like our first one. And these baskets will give me the extra height I need for this bridge. These curves will zigzag this track to my plate. Sweet! Now we'll just add this to send the car into the donut. This is going to be so cool. Three, two, one, go! Oh, so close. The donut is in front of the ramp, but the car jumps straight over it. I don't think the ramp will work here. I need another way to push this donut onto the plate. This ramp has a yellow flap that flips up when a car drives through it. Let's place the donut on the ramp so it can roll down the plate. Yeah, that looks good. Let's try it out. Three, two, one, go! All right, score one for the donut track. Next up, let's mix in something a little more healthy. I'm gonna make this hard boiled egg roll. Let's straighten out the trap with this curve kicker. And another bridge here to the table. Here are all the items I use for this track build. These containers will lift the egg above this bowl. But how will the egg stay on the track? Maybe I can use one of these. Oh, I can rest the egg here and put the jumps back to back to create a ramp. Nice. Okay, it's time to test this egg drop. Three, two, one, go. Oh, almost there. It looks like this egg could use a little egg stretching. Get it? Here we go, this is perfect. Let's try again. Cool, that was awesome. Okay, I'm ready to eat, but I still need a spoon. I know, let's build one more track to finish this breakfast hat. This lane is gonna need a long bridge, and these tools are perfect. I'm going to need to regain some speed here. This track needs to loop back around to reach the cereal bowl. This plate and cereal container are just tall enough for this track. One final curve kicker right here should push the spoon into the bowl. And a stack of cups to support it. The cereal bowl is still pretty far from this point. So this will send the spoon flying across the placemat into the cereal bowl. Okay, here we go. Whoa, this booster might be too strong. The car needs to have less speed going into this turn. What if I try one of these instead? All right, let's try it out. Yes, all my breakfast tracks work. All righty. It's time to make my breakfast with this breakfast making machine. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. 
Want to see how I built it? Ready, set, build! The first thing I need to start this dance party is music. I'm gonna build a track that plays a really cool song. This launcher is exactly what I need to get this party started. I'm gonna use different items from around my room to hold up this track. This is a boom box I found in my parents' old stuff. It's how they used to play music before smartphones. When you push the play button, it plays music. Three, two, one, go! Oh! I need to use something else to hit that play button. Would this work? Too short. Too thick. What about this pencil? Yeah! I could tape this pencil to the launcher. And that would be enough power to hit the play button. Three, two, one, go! Yes! It worked! I love this song. We gotta save this song for later. It's not a party without a disco ball. I want my next track to light this thing up. I have an idea. A flashlight. So I need to put the flashlight right underneath the disco ball to get those awesome reflections. I can use this kicker to flip the switch. Nice! I'll just need some rubber bands to hold it in place. Now the kicker will flip the switch. Three, two, one, go! Yeah! All right! That was pretty cool. But now let's find a way to turn off the rest of the lights. The light switch is pretty far away, so I'll need some more items to support this track. Let's use this table and another mini stool. This is gonna be awesome. Let's add another launcher for good measure. There's no such thing as too much speed. Let's give it a try. Three, two, one, go! Almost got it! Ugh. The track is too steep. So I need to add more support under this tower so that it'll be a little taller. Here we go. This should lift up the track a little more out of that slope. Let's try this again. Go, go, go! Yes! There we go! Look at all these lights! Now it's time to make a track dance! This track will be our dance floor. I want to see cars race around and around, like a never-ending dance party. The cars will enter the dance floor right here. One booster here, and another booster there. Check out this dance floor! It's an endless loop. Time to get down. Three, two, one, go! Uh-oh, what happened? This booster is too close to the curve. The car has too much speed going into the turn. Let's add some more distance here. There we go. Now we're ready to rock. Ready? Yes! It works! I 
think we're ready to start this party. All right, it's time to pack the track. Cut the music. Music track, go! Oh yeah. Now it's time to light the disco ball. Go! Yes! Wow, so cool. Up next, time to hit the lights. Go! Woohoo! Now let's have these cars hit the dance floor. Go, go, go! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Let's dance! Here we go! Go, go, go! Oh, yeah! Shake it! Raise the roof! Thanks for joining my Hot Wheels dance party! How will you hack the track? Hey, track builders! My name is Dylan, and today's challenge is to build a Halloween track. Let me show you how I hack the track. Haunted houses are so cool, so I built this track for when my friends come trick-or-treating at my house. Each track goes to a trick or a treat. Want to see how I built this? Ready, set, build! I want to build a track that is packed with cool tricks, so I'll need to start with this because it has four different starting lanes. Okay, I need to make a right turn here. These should do the trick. Here's everything I used to build this track. This will be a pulley system. The cars in this cup should be heavy enough to make this ghost fly. The car will hit the monster truck here, which will hit the cup off the table, and boom! Here comes the ghost. All right, let's give it a try. Three, two, one. The car didn't go fast enough to knock over the cup. That cup is really heavy. If I'm gonna knock it off the table, I'm gonna need more power. This loop should give the car an extra kick. I bet this will do the trick. All right, here we go. Yes, that was perfect. Now, let's work on the next track. The next track is gonna be another trick. So let's do something eye-popping. Watch this. This track will make a U-turn right back to the launcher with a tricky surprise at the end. Eyeballs. This booster will give the car a lot of speed. The car will burst through these ping pong eyeballs and they'll fly everywhere. All right, let's give this a try. Here we go. That looked even cooler than I expected. Wow! Let's see that again. Okay, let's move on to the next track. Hey, skeleton, you look hungry. Let's build a track that drops down to feed you some tasty cars. Oh, let's build a track around the graveyard. Maybe this guy can hold up the track. Chew on this! This is exactly what I need to send this track straight to our friend. I'm gonna need something here to keep the track off the ground. Perfect! I can turn the stool upside down and it'll be the perfect height. Then I can add this folder for some extra support across the bars. Now I need to keep holding the track up to reach the skeleton's mouth. Oh, I know! I'll use this toolbox to hold up a stack of cups. Six cups will give me just the right height. Who's hungry? Three, two, one, go! Oh, so close! The car almost made it to the end, but it didn't have enough speed to make it up that hill. Yeah! 
Let's add another launcher to make this work. That should do the trick. Here we go! Wow, that was really cool. Look at that speed! <laughs> okay, now that I have three awesome tricks, it's time to build a track for treats. Let's build a track all the way up to the doorbell. This is a pretty far distance, so I'll need a lot of speed to go up these stairs. Okay, the best way to the doorbell from the rail is to go straight across. I need a lot of things to support my track. I added a stool, a box of bugs, a book, and a bunch of other things I had laying around. Yeah, this is gonna work. Okay, I think these curves will guide the car right into the doorbell. Phew, this is my biggest track yet. So hold your breath. I sure hope this works. Oh, so close. This slope is really steep. The higher the track goes, the more speed I need going up. I hope this extra booster gives the car more speed. Here we go, trick or treat. So cool! Go, go, go! Yes! And it made it across the bridge, too! All four trick-or-treat lanes work. Now it's time to play a little Halloween game. Choose a car, if you dare. Mwahaha! Each car has a number on the bottom. Choose a car and send it down that lane for a trick or a treat. Track one, go! Nice! That gets me every time. Track two, go! That was awesome! They're looking right at me. Track three, go! I bet he was so scared. <laughs> Track four, go! Go faster! Trick or treat! was such a fun challenge. Thanks for checking out my Halloween track. How will you hack the track?